Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see what exactly is compound interest and how different it is from simple interest. So in case of compound interest, it, the interest is calculated on the principal amount and also on the accumulated interest of previous periods. So this is the basic difference between simple and compound interest. Simple interest means doesn't matter even if you have fixed it for 2 years, 3 years, 5 years or 10 years. For M on every year, the interest rate will be on the principal amount. In this case, that is not the case. In compound interest, the interest will be charged or the rate of interest would be on the principal amount and also on the accumulated interest of the previous periods. So let me take an example. I think that would help you in better understanding. So let us take the same example where Sheila had kept rupees 15,000 at the rate of interest 5% but this time the, this is not the simple interest rate. Here it is 5% compounded annually. That means every yearly it is compounded by 5% and the time period is 2 years. So the same example here. So in this case what happens in the first year? So one by one we will see what happens every year because in case of compound interest every year uh, all the values are not the same because on the first year the rate of interest is on the principal amount but on the second year the rate of interest is on the principal amount as well as on the pre interest of the first year. So that's the difference. Okay, so in first year our principal is rupees 15,000 rate of interest is 5% and time period is one year. So if you calculate simple interest in this case, like how do we normally calculate simple interest? P into R into T divided by 100. So with that calculation, this would be P into R into T divided by 100, which is equal to rupees 750. So that means how much amount will you get at the end of one year? So the amount that you would get is 15,000 plus 750. That is rupees 15,750. But you have kept the money for two years. Now what would happen in the second year? Now in the second year, what is your principal amount? Now, in case of simple interest, in the second year also your principal amount is the same, that is 15,000. So that is why we directly calculate it as P into R into T where we put T is equal to 2 directly because all other values remain same for both the years. But in this case, the principal amount for the second year will change. For second year, your principal amount will be the principal amount of the first year plus the interest of the first year. That means the principal amount for the second year will actually be the amount of the first year. The total money that you get at the end of the first year, th that money includes your interest also. So and this total money becomes your principal for the second year. So 15,750 is your principal for the second year. The rate of interest would still remain 5% and the time period is again one year. So first year you have already seen. This is only for the second year. So that second year is also just one year. So in this case, your interest would again be PRT divided by 100. So this would be 15,750 into R into T divided by 100. So this comes out to be 787.5. So this would be the interest that you would get in the second year. Therefore, what would be the total amount at the end of second year? So the total amount that you would get is principal. So the principal for second year was 15,750 plus the interest that is 787.5. So you would get rupees 16537.50. So this is how the money that you would get at the end of two years. Now, if you look at this, you had kept 15,000 at the beginning and after two years, how much money will you get from the bank? You would get 16,537.50. So I hope you understood the concept of compound interest. So in compound interest, what happens in simple interest, what happens is every year, whether even if you keep the money for five years, every year that interest the rate of interest will be calculated on the principal amount. So that is why the calculation of simple interest is pretty simple. 
whereas in case of compound interest every year the rate of interest is calculated on the amount of the previous year so basically you are getting some interest on the interest also so you are getting some extra money from the interest as well so in simple interest you will not get anything on this 750 rupees but here you are also getting some extra money due to this 750 because you know you are including the 750 also on which you are calculating the interest for the second year so that is primarily the difference between simple and compound interest now since we have taken the same example sheila's example with the same data in one way of in the previous slide we found the simple interest and in this slide we found the compound interest thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you